Hello, it's Artisan Crafter Amy. I'm going to make a mixed media tag using these gorgeous Tandy Art collage sheets. I'm going to fussy cut some elements out. These sheets are from a few years ago. I really love her artwork. It has a childlike whimsy and appeal that I just find irresistible. She likes using glitter and lots of color and texture in her artwork, and that is just what I want here. So I'm using the Graphic 45 Marine Blue ink to ink around the edges of some of the fussy cut elements to help them pop against the background. It also helps disguise any uh, cutting that wasn't quite up to standard, let's say. On this project, uneven cutting adds more appeal. So I wasn't so worried about that and more about having it pop. The other thing I have on my desk that I'm using here for the background is some scraps from my envelope where I store my scraps that has all of these neutral pale colored scraps. I've gathered just the um, script paper, some piece of doily, some book page, and sheet music. Really with just the three, sheet music, book page, and script would be a magic recipe for collaging. Another thing you could do is if you had book page that was in three different shades of aging, then that would also look really nice on your background. But if you're a little bit concerned or you're new to collaging, I would suggest that you try sticking to just three different colors and doing those. Here I am, I'm tearing strips of pieces up and lining them up in ways that look attractive, or at least how I think look attractive. And that's all I'm really doing. I'm just picking up one of the pieces, tearing it into a piece, holding it up next to what's there. And if I find the shape appealing, I'll just glue it down. More often than not, I'll tear more off or change the shape before gluing it down. And just going by feeling here. This is really the fun part of the process. You want to take your time and enjoy this. I put PVA glue into a dish and I'm using that to glue down both the back and then I'm putting a layer of glue over the front as well to help seal the paper because I know I'm going to be adding various mixed media techniques later. I haven't actually decided what at this point. I have kind of a loose plan and then uh, wing it from there. <laughs> That's what makes me feel comfortable. But yes, here I am. My plan is to create kind of a border with the, these collage pieces and leave quite a bit of the blue still showing in the middle and toward the top. I have no idea of exactly how much coverage I want. I just want to create some sort of a border with these collage pieces. And, um, and that's where I'm at now. I'll spend a few minutes here working on this collage. I find it really relaxing to just sit and watch people collage it all together and uh, watch them work. So I'll pipe down, I'll put some music on, you can sit and watch, and I'll check back in the next time there's something I feel is worth, uh, worth sharing about. I'm pretty chatty, so uh, expect to hear a lot from me. This video is only like 15 minutes though, so it's a good watch. I thought I was going to pipe down, but I'll be honest, I don't think I can do it. It's really hard to just sit here and watch. And my daughter did say that uh, people like it better with the chatter than with just the music. So please comment if you think that's true. I've given a few comment suggestions throughout this video. So uh, boy, if you don't comment, I just don't know. Maybe you're watching on the TV like I do. There is no way to comment when you watch on the TV. That is so true. Every once in a while, I will pick up my phone, log in on the app, and open the app, find the video in my history so I can comment to people I've watched. More often than not, I follow them on social media and then go comment about their videos over there. 
I'm in quite a few different Facebook groups and things like that. I'm on Instagram, TikTok. If you'd like to uh, interact with me more regularly, definitely follow me on social media. I'm just as chatty on social media as I am on my videos. So uh, yeah, anyways, I'm adding more glue. I'm adding some to the paper. This um, doily is pretty fragile, so I didn't want to try to paint it first. I thought painting the background was the safer way to go with this. And I do a little bit of brushing, but I'm putting almost no pressure on the brush. I don't want to tear the doily. And then I do a lot of patting, kind of patting with the brush more than brushing. It's hard to see what I'm actually doing with the brush. I think it just looks like I'm brushing and, it, and it's more of a dabbing and patting motion. Uh, there were a couple places where I don't think I got the glue enough. I lifted it up with the brush, put a little glue under there. And again, if you fast forwarded or weren't listening, it's just PVA glue that I've dumped into a little condiment dish that I got from the Goodwill. I don't still have a plan with what I'm going to do here. I just keep going back to my scraps and tearing pieces off to see what I think looks good and stopping when I think it's done. The nice thing about collage is if I didn't like this when it was all done, I could just glue a blank piece over the top of it and start all over, you know. No harm done. I really like paper crafts. I find that it, uh, it has such a low risk value that it makes it really pleasurable where learning how to draw and some other arts and crafts can be maybe a little bit more stressful, come with the fear of failure. Paper crafts are the best. Paper glue and scissors. Come on, right? We can all do that. Or almost all of us, right? Anyhow, so yep, I'm going to finish grabbing bits of paper. I think when I went over the kinds of paper I didn't mention, that's some tea stain paper that I had. I used some uh, food dye, some liquid food dye in with the tea color to give it a real pink hue to it. I know I made some that had a nice blue color to it as well. I think it makes it more fun to see tea stain the paper if I add, uh, make it a color as well. Okay, I'm just about done finishing the collage there, and I'm going to go ahead and glue this little cutie pie down to some packaging. I don't know if you've heard me yammer on yet, but boy, I do love reusing product packaging. Uh, reduce, reuse, recycle. That reuse is the most important part because recycling does take a lot of energy to recycle something into something new. So I've pasted this little cutie down onto my packaging with my PVA glue, and I loosely cut her out just to get the packaging away. I keep the packaging in a little recycling bin of paper crafts. And when I'm all done, any of my scraps or whatever do go to recycling. But I often reach back in there for things, just like this uh, packaging that came with an 8x8 pad the other day. I try not to save too much packaging. It had gotten a little out of hand. And... Um, out of hand. I just had a two magazine holders full of product packaging and when I got to housekeeping I cared less about having that to make tags out of at the time so it all went to the recycling bin. We actually take a lot of the recycling directly ourselves so yeah anyways I'm a
cycling nut. I don't know about you. You can comment below if you're really into cycling too. If you're not, sorry, I'm not trying to, to preach to anyone. Um, it's just uh, excites me, keeps me going. All right, so I made a little ribbon ruffle off camera on some chipboard. I'm trying it in a few different places to see where I like it. I'm really dying to use it. So like, it doesn't look good in the first couple places. My daughter's standing nearby. I asked her opinion quite a bit on this. What do you think? Come look, I would say. All right, so I've run off to go get um, a piece of chipboard so I can use that to put the gesso on. Again, I probably reached into my bin for a scrap. Of, you would call it trash, but it's my recycling bin. So I've grabbed just a little bit of white gesso and I'm working that in between the designs here where I've collaged the join, the join between the different collage papers. You can kind of do it however you want. I think I might end up just coating the whole surface lightly because I felt like maybe that book page was a little too dark and bold. Sheet music a little too dark and bold. I think, oh, what about this string? Maybe I'll like some string on here. I actually did not and end up taking that off. But it's not wrong to experiment. Go ahead and give something a try. I didn't make you watch, but just trust me when I wrapped the string around there. It was not the look I was going for. I've grabbed my pink stickles and am using that. I hold it up. Boy, if you can have sharp eyes and you can see quickly, you might have been able to read that. But uh, maybe all editing Amy will get in there and slow that down for you so you can read it. But here I am, I'm adding glitter, pink glitter to the little hearts, and I'm using the same paintbrush I used for the glue. I'm pretty sure I didn't clean it off. I'd like to pretend I did. I didn't. Uh, it wasn't in good shape to begin with. I was at least smart enough to pick a paintbrush that I had already neglected. Okay, so I've gone and gotten some gold washi tape, um, some gold sparkly washi tape from uh, Graphic 45. It actually came with my monthly car uh, card club kit from them uh, around Christmas time, maybe? I don't know. Those were really fun when I had subscribed. Um, and they would send me a variety of materials and supplies, which was the main reason I did it. I rarely, if ever, did the project that came with it. I took it on as a challenge. What can I do with these same supplies? Anyhow, here I am. What I did was, uh, I'm doing it the hard way right here. Later, I figured out a good tip I am not showing you here. And it is that if I had stuck that washi tape down to one of my scrap pieces, it would have been a lot easier to cut. It wouldn't have gummed up my scissors and so forth. Like that would definitely have been the way. But that's not the way I did it here. I hadn't figured that out yet. So I think that looks really cute. The little washi tape glitter on her crown and the little heart. This is starting to come together. I get my marine blue ink back out again and start inking up the edges. I'll admit when this project was all done, I'm kind of wondering about that light background. Part of me wishes I'd done a much darker background. I really wanted that little cutie to pop and she does. I'm really happy with how the project came out. I don't know about you, but a lot of times after projects are done, I do the woulda, coulda, shoulda. <laughs> I don't know if you do too. You can comment on that if you'd like. I love comments, so like, comment all you want. Makes my day. But yep, I've got my crocodile out here. It is a must-have tool. If you're a beginning crafter and you're making junk journals, this is one of the, say, first five tools that I would recommend. Uh, it's a separate video that I'm working on though. Uh, yeah, so the crocodile. It punches holes in big thick things and it has two different sizes. If that's all it did, it would be a great tool. But the fact that it sets the different size eyelets or grommets is also nice. I have a couple pieces of ribbon there. There was one that I had that came with some packaging. I put this ribbon on during the video. I'll attach some pictures later that show you how it actually finished. It finished with a blue bow and I did add a little bit of purple stenciling to it as well after the video was over. I really struggle to get that through the eyelet. I probably should have just gone and gotten something to help me poke it through there. 
but I was insistent on, uh, on getting this video done without leaving my desk again. When I'm filming these videos, I end up leaving my filming area to go over to the crafting area multiple times. I might think I brought everything with me, but very rarely do I do. Or do I actually bring everything with me, I meant to say. Alright, I have a few charms, a little silver one that says handmade, a few buttons. I put those on a bulb pin and I pin that to the bow at the top. This is pretty much the end, aside from the finishing photos. Okay, I finished putting the bows on and in a second here I have the photos that I'll show you. As long as you didn't fast forward or scroll past it, I did tell you that I ended up changing the bow. I thought a dark blue bow would look nicer on it and I did get out a stencil with some dots on it and use that in a couple places to add uh, some more color. You can see that in some of the close-ups. These close-up pictures are nice. You can see the last couple things I changed. Sorry about that. But these Tandy Art papers are so sweet. I had a great time making the project. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share the channel with someone else you think might enjoy the content.